Cheers, Afternoon. Let me get the most important question out of the way first. Any plans for Burns tonight? Uh, well, um, we're all having a bit of haggis here at the training ground today, so it's always good to get a, a bit of good Scottish food in you. What do you think haggis, needs and tabbies was the best diet for football? Or no, but it's for the staff, that's for sure. <laughs> Don't know about the players. <laughs> um, is this weekend a bit of a chance to rest a few weary bones? Get some uh, I'd like to say it was, but... Uh, I want to go through in the cup. I want to try and get through if I can. But I think I've always said this is a priority is the Premier League. We have to make sure that we're a, we're a Premier League club. But there's nothing more I'd like to you know, give the supporters at West Ham would be a day out at Wembley in the final if I could do. You know yourself what it means to a club taking into an FA Cup final. What would it mean for the, for, for the fans, for the players to get together? Well, you can ask any club and they would all say the same thing. No, everybody would like that to happen. But there's a... There's also a bigger picture which has to be looked at as well, which is trying to make sure that we're we're in this league we're in. Uh, it's the finances to it is far greater than anything that would be with winning the cup. Uh, I do do think that I'd like to win it. I've got to tell you that, and I've, I've been to a final, so I know exactly how what it feels like being there. So if it can happen again, great. But again, I have to reiterate the the priorities to make sure that we're a Premier League club. It's a pretty long injury list at the moment. Just tell us who's Close to finding <laughs> uh, there's a few getting closer to coming back. Mickey Antonio's doing a bit of training. Josie Font's doing a little bit of training. So we're getting one or two more back. But as we go along, because of the programme, but every club's the same. You know, they've all had really difficult schedules over, over Christmas and New Year. And the games are taking their toll. And I think with it now having Premier League midweek fixtures in January as well, it's, it's, it's not easy as well, uh, certainly after, after mm -hmm. FA Cup ties. Antonio, Fonte, Reid, are any of them available for, for the wedding match? Uh, I don't think any of them will be available, no. Okay. Um, our sources tell us that Joao Mario is having medical as we speak with a view to a loan move. Mm -hmm. What more can you tell us? Your about? sources would be correct. They would be correct. Yeah. Tell us what he'll bring to the side. Uh, well, I'm not going to tell you that until he's done his medical. So I think once we get the medical out of the way, then we'll be able to tell you that. So... Uh, Hopefully we're able to give you some more news in the right time. Be a loom rather than a permanent move. Correct, correct, yeah, correct. Um, do the injuries to Carroll, Arnautovic, Lanzini mm -hmm. affect whether you think you need to bring in more attacking options? Yeah, they, they, they did. I wouldn't say it necessarily meant, made me think that I need to bring in more attacking option, but it made me think that I need to get, get some players in. Uh, that's not as easy as it, it says, you know, and it's, it's easy showing everything what might happen, but it's not that easy to do. The market's not allowing it. There's lots of clubs who might want our players as well, and, and we're not in a position to sell either. So from that point of view, you know, you're not expecting other clubs to do it either. So it's it's actually quite difficult to get anything done. So we'll have to see, but I've got to say, you know, it does. We've we've lost a few players and a few key players as well. And with injuries to, to three attacking players, does that affect Javi Hernandez as well? Because presumably you'll not want to keep hold of him. Well, we've never at any time said that we want MD to go. Mm. You know, so we, what we're doing is if if that's what happens, then something comes up, then we'll need to look at it. But at the moment, nothing's come up. And as far as I'm concerned, we're, uh, we're as we are. Any latest developments with Diakosako or Andre? Are you confident they'll be West Ham first come Thursday? Uh, I think we've had an offer for Andre Ayew. But at the moment, the offer wouldn't be accepted. And, and uh, at this present time, because of our, our situation, we wouldn't be in a hurry to do anything. Yeah, we do. We need to keep our players, but uh, we'll have to see see if that changes at all. Uh, the reports that yourself and Stuart Pearce have both been on scouting missions, Stuart to Belgium, yourself to Spain. Uh -huh. Can you tell us any more? Do you think that's strange? No, no, not at all. No, that's right. So managers go out and watch games, and whether yeah. we go to different countries to watch the games. So we want to try and be as as yeah. up to date as we possibly can be. So we go to a lot of games, and and uh, yeah, we were at games, yeah. And was Fabian in particular a that you were watching? Was that right? No, that wasn't right, no. Okay, no problem at all. Um, next week is, is a massive week in terms of the Premier League. Yeah. So two games that, you know, what, there's 11 teams in a relegation scrap, aren't there? Yeah, the, I mean, the, the bottom half of the Premier League is as tight as I can remember, really, and there's certainly nobody getting cut away at the moment. So we've got to try and keep ourselves away. We, even though we're in a sort of healthy position today, we know that can be easily, easily changed. But we're focused at the moment, the game in the Cup. We want to try and concentrate in the Cup. We want to try and get a positive result. Uh, 
we're in a good place. We've had some good results. I thought we had some some good performances against Bournemouth at times in the game. So we want to try and build on that. Just finally for me, you said it yourself, you're in a good place. Now, how much of a sort of feather in your cap is it that you've been able to turn around so quickly in that what, seven games by defeat? Is there a much more positive vibe about the place? Well, the players have the players have showed exactly what they can do. Mm -hmm. I think that we want we we're, we're demanding more of them. And uh, I've got to say, some of them have, have really done well, and I think others have improved uh, throughout the squad. So, from that point of view, we've all got to work together. But we're we're nowhere near the finishing line yet. We've got to keep the blinkers on. We've got to stay focused and getting enough points to, as I said, first of all, be a Premier League club. Fantastic, thank you. Uh, David, um, we're going to have a, a good season. Now. Mm. We've got a chance to look at them. I have. I've had a chance to see a bit, and I'll do a little bit more later on today as well. So I hope that uh, everybody realises we're getting a, a, a good side and, and playing good football as well. Do you find it hard to believe that it's only five years since they've won the FA Cup? Yeah, and that's the strange thing. I think going back to the questions about you know the FA Cup or the that year Wigan were relegated, uh, they won the FA Cup but were relegated. So I think if you went back and you asked the Wigan people what would they rather be, I think they'd have said well. Would have rather not won the FA Cup, but but uh, been in the Premier League. Um, and that year, of course, um, they knocked out Everton in the sixth round. So you've mm -hmm. got a score to settle with them. Well, I think I've I've known Wigan. I I'd watched them a lot and played against them a lot. Uh, whether it been as a player or whether it been as a manager over the years, so uh, I, I don't I don't think we've got a score to settle. But I certainly think that uh, it'll be a tough game for us. Paul Cook's done a really good job, but they they've obviously got focus on on getting back into the Championship, Wigan, and, and as you rightly said, maybe the, the Premier League in the future as well. And uh, it's, it's a long time since West Ham tasted FA Cup success, so what does it mm. certainly give you the uh, confidence uh, about concentrating on the Premier League? It's understandable, but surely the Cup run to help the fans, the relationship with the fans, a good start to success? Yeah, to I totally agree. I agree with all that. And, I, and there's nothing, I think, I think every competition you go in, you should attempt to try and win it. That's that's the fact. I'll definitely attempt to try and win it, but there's a little bit of a caveat at the back of that that you know we have a Premier League game on Tuesday night, whether that's correct or not, and we have another one again on Saturday. And with the injuries we've got, it's just beginning to take its toll on us. But I'm positive the team's got a bit of momentum going at the moment. I want to keep that going. I want to I want to win again. You know, uh, I want to make sure that we the players realise that it's got to be an all-time thing, not just something we do now and again. And I hope we can do that. Thanks, guys. Cameras off, please. Thank you.